Welcome to Goyo's Garden and Tie-Dyes. I'm Greg. All right, today we will be doing a Gildan Adult Large. Shirt has been soaked in soda ash for at least 20 minutes or longer and spun out in my Panda Spin Dryer. And this is the very, very last time you'll ever see this closet dowel sinew puller. I finally made it through all the older videos. From now on, you'll only be seeing my bright green sinew puller. That works wonders. You can pick up one at Boarding with Jen from her little shop. She has all kinds of goodies. So I'm just going to geo this one up. Just keep strapping and strapping and strapping. Uh, once again, there's really no set plan for it. Just want a little bunch of lumps and bumps. As before, I always like to tie a little knot on the end. Makes it easier to find later. And with geo, you just want to be as random as you can. You don't want perfect circles. You can even start tying it down and folding it over or pull it sideways just to get a little different pattern. Yeah, geos are fun. You never know quite what you're going to get. And there's so many different color combos that you can do too. I've seen a lot of real nice uh, birth tones lately. And the splits that you get in them when you use either ice or the hot water or something else. Yeah, you want to wrap it around about three times, give it a really good pull. And the more you stick on there, the wider your line will be. Yeah, like I said, you just want to be as random as possible. Pretty soon I should have a, a video for the garden folk from uh, Goyo's Garden and Tie Dice. We're working on it. All right, let's dye it. Remember this was done in the day where the sun was just shining so bright on it. But once you start with the dye, you can see it. So the first one we're doing is shiitake mushroom. Midnight blue. And glacier blue. I only put the shiitake where the sinew lines were. Hindsight, I probably should have done a little bit more. Put your cheesecloth on it to help splatter sputtering on the shirt or on me or whatever else is nearby. And I'm going to be changing uh, cheesecloth also. This stuff is supposed to be washable. 
but it's actually too tight of a cheesecloth. Uh, the water wants to pull up on it. So some things are better just to go cheaper. Add a little bit more color to it. I'll be doing that a couple times here because I want a really nice, bright, bright shirt is what I'm hoping for. You can see how it water's steaming too. I still haven't checked to see how hot my water is. I know it's a lot hotter now. We have a new water heater and it's cranked up. Uh, ideally, you want it around 165 from what I understand. Right now, it's straight out of the tap. I can't hold my hand under it when the water's on, so I figure that's close enough. But that's me. Don't do what I do. Look it up. I'll try to tell you the right way. But sometimes I just don't do it the right way. But you should at least start off doing it properly. Back when I first started the uh, hot water irrigation, I, I didn't know that there was a temperature. And so just kind of winged it from there. Boy, there's sure some nice work out there from the hot water too. I've seen some spectacular stuff on uh, Facebook and YouTube. But mine are just nice and quick. They're made to sell cheap. Uh, that's what works for me. But one day I plan on taking my time and tying something really good. Let's hope anyway. Oh, and I almost forgot. The dye is in eight ounce bottles and a quarter cup soda ash. And I'm actually using three teaspoons of dye in it right now. Seems to be brightening it up a little bit more. In fact, I just might add just a pinch more. I'll see how this shirt comes out. And uh, you should leave it for at least 15 minutes or longer. And then at the end of the day, you can wash it out. All right, well, this is it. I'm pretty happy with this one. Don't say that too often, but I'm really happy with this one. Colors came out nice and bright like I thought. Like I said, could have used more shiitake. And the shirt's already found a good home. Yep, little sister scored another one. She snatched this up the same day she picked up her other shirt. That's what I get for leaving it on the table. Oh well, she looks good in it. Alright, well, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like it, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. And if you want to share it, please share it. Once again, thank you, and I'll see you next time.